Hey guys, it's Stephanie from Farm From Farm. Hope you guys are well. It's another hot, sweaty day here. Um, and I'm setting up my maggot bucket that I first tried last year, and it was great. So I figured I'd film it, show you guys, uh, see if we can get you some free protein as well. Um, so here we are. I'm sitting at the towards the back of the coop. Here's where I hang my bucket, um, just some twine and. This is like a seven gallon bucket. You could use whatever, three, five. Um, so this is what I use. Um, first step was just drilling some holes in the bottom. I have a little bit of debris from last year still in mine, but the holes are open, so that's fine. And I noticed last year the maggots uh, crawled out the top a lot as well. Um, then I have some screws. I screwed on the sides here just to keep the chicken wire or hardware cloth, whatever you use, whatever you have sitting around. We don't want this to cost a lot of money, right? So I had some chicken wire sitting around. This just keeps the whatever you're putting in here off. I'd say it's about eight inches off the bottom of the bucket. You just need a couple inches um, to kind of create um, a gap in between where the maggots are going to fall and either fall out the bottom of the bucket. Um, and like I said, sometimes they do crawl out the top as well. So. I'm going to put just a little uh, hay in here, kind of build a little cushion, little maggot nest, if you will, <laughs> um, in there. So got that in there, and then I have a chicken that we butchered a couple years ago, never used. So I'm going to put that in here, and um, you know we're going to see these flies start swarming, start laying their eggs, and start that. Um, cycle. You know, I think a lot of people, they hear maggot and they're like, oh, it's a terrible bug. You know, it's a larvae just like any other bug. You know, it's their reproductive cycle. So it's not bad for your chickens. It's free po protein. These little guys are just going to land on the ground and your chickens are going to be so happy. So, all right, so we got our chickens in there. And you can use anything in here. You could put scraps, vegetables, you know, flies like nearly anything, but meat is great. Um, so I put some old meat in there. I think I'm going to put a little bit on the top here just to create them a nice little little home. And then, there we go. And I will check back in a couple days and we'll see what we have going. Hey guys, so here we are about four days later. I filmed the initial uh, video on July 7th. Today's July 11th. I wanted to show you an update of our maggot bucket. Uh, we have a chicken here already taking advantage of the protein dropping down. <laughs> so let me show you. I put a little rubber bucket under there just so they can't escape too quickly, the maggots, before the chickens find them. But... Uh, i got a couple here already understanding the assignment here. So we can see them in there. And Karen's got them dropping on her head. <laughs> And of course, you know, I didn't really mention this, but I, I would think it'd be obvious that this is going to stink. <laughs> so I put this at the back of my coop, um, so you can't really smell it when you're at the front. You know, if you were sitting, hanging with the chickens, you're not really going to smell it. This is at the back, but keep that in mind if you are going to make something like this. Um, you know, it's not going to smell like roses. So, um, you know, maybe put it where the wind isn't going to, uh, you know, put it towards somewhere where you sit often but it's not horrible but whatever just wanted to mention that um so yeah four days in we're getting lots of protein coming down karen's not sharing with anybody else but we got lots of chickens back here curious what's going on and i mean they're dropping by the second here you can see 
Brittany. <laughs> Hey, Kathy. We call her Chatty Kathy because she laughs a lot. So that's it guys. I hope you um, thought that was cool like the nerd I am. Um, and maybe if you have all the stuff you can set it up for free. Start throwing some scraps in there and enjoying the benefit of some free protein for your chickens too. Alright, you guys have a good day and I hope to see you soon. Bye.